TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network on Monday, the 26th of February. We just uh, finished the, uh, oh, the uh, this is the 9 o'clock show that Tommy Jr. does. That's the market kickoff. Great show. And now I've got 10 o'clock show. Great programming at TFNN. Dow's up 94 at 39,223. Here's the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. We'll see how it either breaks out above it or it stalls right in this red and green mini channel. Look at the S&P, same thing. S&P, here we go. S&P is trading right now uh, up 151 at 5,019. Uh, Friday was a high for the Dow. So far, no new high, all-time high. But the S&P has made a new all-time high at 5,097.66. Nice action in the inside track repellent zone. Let's go to the Q. Q, Q, index 100 trading vehicle. Uh, I've got this as um, having made a new all-time high on Friday, just about 4.40. It's trading right now at 4.36.62, down 17 cents. The technicals are starting to weak action, uh, weaken, although the SMH, which really leads the uh, QQQs, is still doing very nicely. It didn't make a new high today. It got repelled on Friday at the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, and the Qs, uh, semiconductors, up 91 cents at 209.58. Let's go to gold. Gold was down earlier on, trying to rally a little bit. It's uh, now down 12 at 2037, sitting on those two moving averages, the pink nine-period moving average and the black 14-period moving average. The 2025 level is really that magnet of the 200 period moving average. Really important. But look at this. The dollar really hasn't done very much. It's down 14 ticks at 103.80. Crude oil tried to rally uh, last week and then started to fail. Today it's up 40 cents at 76.87, but it's really not acting all that well. And if you go to the bonds, let's go to bonds. Bonds right now are uh, unchanged. At 119 and 230 seconds at the lower end of the run. Therefore, the yields are at the higher end of the spectrum. So, with that said, in my Tiger Technicians Hour coming up right now, I'm going to discuss some of the some of the action, some of the things we're looking at for this week that I discussed with my subscribers before my hour-long uh, video overview over the past weekend. This past weekend, I do it every weekend as long as I'm in town. And uh, let's get to the market as soon as we get back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour coming up. Hope to see you.